Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have 2 to the power x plus 5 equals 3 to the power x squared plus 6x plus 5. And we're going to be solving for x values. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this problem in two ways. First method, I want to go ahead and bring those exponents down because as it is, it looks pretty complicated, right? So if we can use logarithms and it doesn't matter which base you use, I'm going to use natural log. So let's go ahead and ln both sides. In this case, ln happens to be the natural logarithm, which is base e. And what that does is if you log an exponential expression, then you can actually bring the exponent down. So this x plus 5, you can write it as a coefficient. This one, you can bring it down as a coefficient. So now let's go ahead and do that. We get x plus 5 multiplied by ln 2 equals x squared plus 6x plus 5 multiplied by ln 3. Now if you use another base, let me tell you what happens. Let's say you use base 10 for log, right? Then you would just get the same thing, but instead of ln 2, you would have log 2 and log 3. What's the difference? Nothing, because when you look at the end, uh, you're going to get the same thing. Just express differently. Okay? So let's go ahead and solve this problem. But how do we solve it? We have x is on one side and x squared on the other side. So why don't we go ahead and distribute everything, right? Should we do that? Well, we can. Uh, let's start here. x times ln 2 plus 5 times ln 2 is equal to x squared times ln 3 plus 6x times ln 3 plus 5 times ln 3. Okay? Now, this is going to turn into what? A quadratic equation. Did you figure that out? Because of x squared. Of course, it's going to be quadratic in x because that's the only variable and everything else is a constant. So, let's do this. We'll bring this stuff to the, on the right-hand side, but then we'll put the right-hand side on the left-hand side. In other words, switch sides and rearrange, rearrange the terms so that you can get a quadratic equation in x. Okay? Let's do it. We get x squared ln 3, so I'm going to write the right-hand side first. 6x times ln 3 plus 5 times ln 3, and then I'm subtracting these two things. Remember that minus x ln 2 minus 5 ln 2. Okay, great. The next thing I need to do is set it equal to zero, of course, because when you put everything on the same side, the other side will be zero, which is good. Now, we have some like terms, terms that like each other, right? Like these two. Why? They both have x. And of course, these are like terms too, because they are constants. So you need to rearrange the terms to get a full quadratic, and your quadratic is supposed to look like this x squared plus bx plus c, because that's what quadratics look like, okay? a, b, c are coefficients, and based upon those, you can actually find the solutions by using the quadratic formula. So that's what we're going to do. So now let's go ahead and write the ln 3 first, because that's the coefficient of x squared. And here, the coefficient of x from these two things, this one and this one, it's going to be 6x. 6 ln 3, sorry about that, 6 ln 3 minus ln 2. That'll be the coefficient of x. As you can see, we did factoring here, okay? And then we're going to take these two things. It's just a constant, so we can write it as 5 ln 3 minus 5 ln 2, and the whole thing is 0. Now, if you really want to see what kind of quadratic uh, or why is this quadratic, I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the colors here, color code it a little bit, and now, hopefully, this makes more sense. You see, ax squared plus bx plus c. This is your a, this is your b, and this is your c. That's helpful because we're going to use the formula, right? So, what should we do next? You can go ahead and write the formula, but here's the thing. When you write the formula, it's probably going to look complicated. Um, but let me write it anyways. Negative b, you have to negate this expression, so it's going to be ln2 minus 6 ln 3 plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 6 ln 3 minus ln 2 squared minus 4ac. 
So, like I said earlier, it's gonna look complicated. Let me not finish that whole thing. And the denominator will be 2a. So let's go ahead and focus on the expression inside the radical, okay? That is gonna be delta. So instead of writing the whole system or solution, it's much better if we find delta first, because what happens if you know delta, let's say you know what delta is, then you can write the solutions as easy as negative b plus minus the square root of delta over 2a. Very easy, right? Okay, let's do that. So delta is gonna be b squared, which is this, b squared minus 4ac, and c is 5 ln 3 minus 5 ln 2, all right? Let's go to simplify the delta as much as possible, and now we're gonna plug it in here, okay? How do you simplify this? Well, it's 6 ln 3 squared plus ln 2 squared minus 12 times ln 3 times ln 2 minus, when you distribute here, you're going to get 20 ln 3 squared, but the 20 is on the outside. It's not like this. This is 36. And then plus 20 times ln 3 times ln 2. Now, these two are like terms, so we can combine them. And these two are like terms, too. If you write this as 36 ln 3 quantity squared, then this one and this one becomes like terms. So 36 minus 20 is 16. So we can write it as 16 times ln 3 squared. There is no other ln 2 squared, so I'm just going to write it like that. And then these two things, negative 12 plus 20, is going to give me plus 8 ln 3 times ln 2. It's probably better if we use parentheses so there is no confusion. So this should be our delta, don't you think? b squared minus 4ac. Hopefully we didn't make any mistakes, right? Hopefully not. So now the next thing we should do is try to square root this expression, but I don't see a direct square root, so I could be missing something. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Maybe we can find out when we solve the problem in a different way. I probably missed something here. Let me go ahead and check my work real quick. So we got that, and when we distribute it, we got that. So okay, that looks good to me. x squared ln 3 plus 6x ln 3 uh, plus 5 ln 3, everything's positive, minus x ln 2 minus 5 ln 2, and then ln 3 times x squared, 6x, this is going to be 6 ln 3 plus 5, okay. Wait a minute. No, no, no. 6 ln 3 minus 5. What did I do? Okay. I was trying to put these. Okay. I was trying to find the coefficient of x. Okay. Never mind. These two. 6 ln 3 minus ln 2. Okay. That is correct. And the final constant term is 5 ln 3 minus. So everything looks good to me. Now let's check delta one more time. B squared minus 4ac. Okay. This looks, this, this looks good too. Uh, minus 12 ln 3 ln 2, ln 2 squared, minus 20 ln 3 squared, okay, plus 20 times ln 3 times, okay, everything looks good to me, I don't know why we didn't get a better answer, who knows, uh, but that's what it is. Okay, let's continue with the second method, and hopefully someone can identify the error, I couldn't find it, so here's what we're going to do next, that's going to be much, much better, trust me faster and of course that's the goal but you're gonna let me know which method you like better you're probably not gonna like the first one because i messed up right but anyways let's see so here's the trick this is factorable so we can write it as three to the power x plus five times x plus one you know polynomials you do the x method or whatever you find two numbers whose product is five and whose sum is six those numbers are 5 and five, 5 and 1, and we get that. Now, notice that x plus 5 is a common exponent. So if x plus 5 is equal to 0, then we get a solution, which means x equals negative 5 is a valid solution. Awesome. What happens next? Well, here's the thing you need to do. You have to cancel out x plus 5. But to see what that looks like, you may want to write it like this first, and then raise both sides to the power 1 over x plus 5, because 
that's equivalent to factoring or simplifying it. You can just cancel these and those, and you end up with something like this. 3 to the power x plus 1 is equal to 2. Awesome. Now, there's a couple ways to solve it. You can do this. First, write it like this. Oops, that's supposed to be a 3. And then divide both sides by 3. You get that. And then you can log both sides. Again, if you use ln, you're going to get something like this. And x will be moved. So from here, we're going to get x equals ln 2 thirds. Maybe use parentheses here for clarity. Divide by ln 3. That's one of the solutions. The other solution was x equals negative 5. But why didn't we get this from first method? I don't know. That's for you to find out because this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.